Beyond the grip of the familiar, a threshold demands to be crossed. The mortal shells yearn for meaning, awaiting a glimpse of their true purpose. Welcome to Mortal Shell, everybody. Oh man, I'm excited about this. I have been completely out of the loop on anything Mortal Shell related. And I had an opportunity to play the beta, but couldn't get around to it because we were moving. So I'm going in completely blind. The only things I've ever seen are like the announcement trailers. <laughs> so yeah, I'm pretty pumped. If you haven't heard of this, it's very much a Dark Souls-like and it's a smaller dev team, but look, like, already, this is pretty incredible. Harden. You've inherited the ability to harden your body. Hardening prevents harm from attacks, but is broken quickly upon taking physical damage. Left trigger to harden. Okay. So, in terms of mechanics, all that kind of stuff, I'm learning it as we go, and I'm really excited to just have something... Okay. To have something to dive into. And if it's, if it's Souls-like in lore and items, equipment, map. Like, I'm all about that. So Harden must be like the new block. Oh, it's so cool. The style is like... Oh, this is awesome. Okay. Hallowed sword. A heavy sword with a hollow at its center. Harden while attacking. You may harden in most situations even while attacking. Experiment with hardening at different times. So while attacking with RB, hold left trigger to harden. So we have light attack, we do have lock-ons, we have heavy attacks. It seems to kind of do, um... Oh, okay, I can't harden until that thing in the bottom left fills. It, se it doesn't quite stagger them, but it almost interrupts their attacks. All right. And I'm guessing we're, we seem to negate. Ooh. We seem to negate all damage when we do that. Woo! Okay, so it seems like it wants us to follow those prompts in the order that they're on the screen. Teaching us to use everything. Pick up items, cycle items, use items, and open inventory. A mortal token. Token which begets a connection to the mortal realm. Familiarity with a whole bunch of diamonds. We can cycle, but this is all we have. Let's just try it. Next damage taken while hardened is converted to health. Okay. So inventory-wise, we can go in here and see more details. Use nine more times to reveal further detail about this item. Cool. Okay, so maybe we'll be granted different effects as we use the item more frequently, which is nice because it forces you to just try different things that you pick up. Where's the next one? Okay, I was instinctively using the left stick to run, but you can run with B as well.
Okay, now we got actual health pools and some type of... Okay. Okay. Oh, he's got the... Okay, he hardens as well. That's fantastic. Woo! We got some of that health back there. That's cool. Oh! Because we can't block very often, I feel like it's going to be very dodge heavy. Ah, oh, he got me. I don't know if I can cancel that as I go in, too. Nice. Oh, what a reach. Nice. I feel like he has significantly more health than we do. Oh, the double fake outs. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, we're getting the hang of it. Got it. This is our first real challenge. I like that it didn't waste any time. Oh, no. Okay, let's not get greedy here. There we go. <laughs> That's so cool. We're keeping him honest. Ooh. Okay, he's kind of... He's Oh, no, 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 no. That was rough. Could have blocked that. We almost have him at half. <laughs> Jeez. No, no. Agreed. Man. In today's episode, we fought Hattern for half an hour. Come on, buddy. We're so close. Ouch. I don't know about this. Come on.
Come on now. Woo! I could have been it right there. Damn. What happened there? Did he get us? What the? Okay. <laughs> okay. I think, I, I guess, maybe he, I, I guess he beat us. Pretty close. Algrim, a tower hums where a muted dweller ruminates his fate. This looks a lot larger than the thing that ate us. So if we are inside of that... I feel like there's some symbolism here, maybe some type of rebirth coming out of this canal. Unless, of course, it's the other end. Symbolism there, too, I suppose. Mortal shell. And I'm so stoked to get into something new that I have, like, literally no idea about. I don't, I'm not familiar with what type of mechanics we're going to run into. Uh, I do know that there's supposed to be boss fights. Things are very reminiscent of Dark Souls. If it comes anything close to a Dark Souls experience, I'll be very happy. Oh yeah, look, we were in... Okay. Rib cage. Okay. Look at these people, or I get—I don't know if these were people. Statues worshiping this thing. What is that? That's not the thing that swallowed us. of weird effigy. Inhabit unknown shell? Okay. Was that the guy we were facing at the beginning? Unknown shell, a man is more than just a sleeve. So that's not just a suit of armor, that's a person. The way I'm interpreting that. We go in here. We have shells, we have compendium, unknown shell. What does this teach us? So it's very average. Durability, stamina, resolve, and then abilities. You must discover the shell's name to awaken its power. We've got tutorials, items, and lore. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Algrim. 
Oh yeah, it, it hits the Dark Souls vibes, that's for sure. Flourishes where blood is spilled. Maybe you can pick these up again. Looks like that uh, ring is going down. A welt cap. Let's try it. Regenerates 30 health over 30 seconds. Okay. I love that in games when you have to try things to learn about them. Sense instinct. I have no idea what we just saw. It looks like it's in this area. Glimpse of futility. This glimpse of futility is nearly opaque. Glimpse into your shell when consumed. Use nine more times to reveal further detail about this item. The glimpse of futility is nearly opaque. Glimpse into your shell. Okay, so top right we've got tar and we have glimpses. This thing, I think, granted us that glimpse. Um, I don't know what tar is yet. Can we open this? Oh yeah, cool. Simple loot and remnant of tar. A little more than a remnant of nectar. Use ten more times to reveal further detail. Yeah, six more times. Grants a minuscule amount of tar when consumed. Okay, so maybe tar is like... Souls? To make a direct comparison. And what about the loot? Practice makes perfect. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, we're gonna need to practice. Holy smokes. Okay. So sense instincts. Yeah, see that circle's like halfway gone now? Oh yeah. Oh, there's the instinct we saw. Okay, so we'll try and get up there. Oh, I love this. I love when it just drops you into something wide open. It's like, well, good luck. More tar. Man, does this ever give me, like, Dark Souls flashbacks from the opening areas? Where everything's, like... Pretty basic. Oh, he dropped stuff. Rotten food. Oh, he's in a trap! And he still managed to destroy me. Okay. So these wealth caps, um, 30 health over 30 seconds. Not a lot, and it takes a really long time. One thing I want to watch for is if we regain any of that uh, stamina while we're hardened. A boiled frog? What the? Land but nourishing snack for an exhausted traveler. Okay, let's try this rotten food. Restores a small amount of health at a large cost to resolve. Okay, I don't even know what resolve is yet. So this probably gives health as well. Let's assign this. 
Maybe instead of uh, rotten food for now. Oh, this increases stamina regen speed for three minutes. Okay. I like that. We're going to try and get up top here. Okay. Okay, excellent. Whoa, I didn't even see him. Yikes. I wonder if we have any uh, ranged weapons eventually. We got another trap right here. Like how I just took that one to the face, like a challenge. See if I can get them to trigger this thing because Chest is locked. What is, what is that? Okay, we're in dire straits here. That's a cool chest. break any of that. Oh, very nice. What is that noise? What are we hearing right now? A tar spore. Noxious mushroom often mistaken for a tar deposit. Okay. Maybe we'll try that when we have a little bit more health. I can almost guarantee whatever's back there. We don't have the experience for it. <laughs> Awaken Sester Janessa. Pray, what wayward spirit beckons? I shall name you family, and you may call me Sester Janessa. You're uninitiated in the Raphael's mysteries, I see. What a curiosity you are, wearing a man like a shell. You've awakened him, but you know nothing of him yet. Fetch me one of his mementos, and some tar too, and I'm sure we can stir up some recollection. Okay. Of course, first you must find his name. Sip the div- Absolutely. You must discover the shell's name to awaken its power. We're spending tar, I guess, here. Peros, the vassal. So not the not the name from the beginning. The brigands pointed us toward the temple. Shunned by the devout, their allegiances lie to those who offer tar or spirits. They entertain themselves with drunken antics or violent cruelties. They know better than to attack us. But they followed us at a distance, hoping for scraps. The voice acting's really good, too. 
Harrow's the vassal. Okay. So now we have what I presume are other upgrades. Gaining a glimpse has a chance to restore some health. Or a short time after hardening, enemies killed have a chance to drop additional glimpse. Hardened cooldown is reduced. Seems pretty important. Hardening causes Harrow's stamina to rapidly refill. Killing two enemies in quick succession resets your hardened cooldown. Hardening lasts for twice as long upon being broken. Regain last chance upon defeating enough foes. Don't know what that means. Harden the air to create a devastating area of impact upon landing. Foes killed by the blast may drop an additional glimpse. Okay. And put your enemies off balance with a powerful kick. Adds a chance for enemies to drop an additional glimpse on death. Okay. So glimpses are seemingly our kind of barrier to entry for these upgrades. And then tar is going to be the stuff that we're constantly collecting. Effigy of Heros. These things that we can just use. Cannot be used. The shell is already inhabited. Huh. Okay. Let's try this. Oh. Deals 40 poison damage over 16 seconds. Well, okay. Now, notice how... The familiarity there is so much higher. I don't know if that's... I don't know what the deal is with that. It must not represent uses. Yeah, because I think it was two more times. This is just a, a bar that's split up into the number of times that we have to try it. I'm treating these instincts that were... Oh, there's a whole bunch here. As... Kind of like pseudo-guides for where to go, maybe, and what to look for. Whoa, cool. Okay. Until we kind of explore this world, it's going to be tough to figure out what those mean exactly or where they're even guiding us. What the hell? Whoa. What is that? Use workbench. Hallowed sword. Well, these are just different upgrades. Mechanical spikes. Molten spikes. Quenching acid. Tools, Solemn Offering, and Resolve Acquisition. This is so trippy. Okay, we saw that kind of tower thing in a previous one. Same thing there with the bat things upside down, but now this guy's walking through it. Investment, a sacred cloth bound to a forgotten sword. Cannot be used, this weapon is already equipped. Huh. So that's two things. Cannot be used, the shell's already inhabited, and this one, the weapon is already equipped. We'll have to figure out what that means. What is this? Remove the seal.
Both well, symbol and weapon, the seal is rusted and filthy. Ah, that's better. Thank you. <laughs> it's been so long since anyone raised a hand toward me in kindness. You seem different. Untouched by false truths. Unfortunately, I have little to offer you. Save for that tarnished seal in your hands. A small gift. But I expect you will find it useful. Would you grant me another favor? Deep within the temples of the devout, you'll find the sacred glands of the revered. Bring the glands back to me, so I can extract the true nectar. Just enough to heal me. Perhaps you too can use it to free yourself from this wretched land. Before you end up like me. Seems like a good idea. Whoa. Man, the voices. Oh, it's so good. Tarnished seal. The old prisoner has gifted you the tarnished seal. It enables you to parry enemy strikes, interrupting their attacks. The seal will also warn you of incoming unparryable strikes. Okay. So LB to parry. Seal infusion healing. The old prisoner has infused the seal, giving your parry the ability to leave an enemy vulnerable to an empowered repost. The seal requires great resolve, there we go, to harness such an infusion. Performing an empowered repost will heal you. So parry and then empowered repost requiring resolve. And that's some healing for us. Hey, let's just explore a bit here. We could go towards that beast sound that we were hearing. Looks like we're entering the mouth of a beast. Ooh, traps. Are you kidding me? I don't know about this. Look at that thing. Holy smokes. Grisha? Whoa. That doesn't seem to interrupt him at all. That was good. That was good. I wonder if I can draw him into these traps. Will he follow me? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, maybe. No. Oh, and he's fully healed now? You're kidding me. You're kidding me. Whoa! Okay, maybe we'll deal with him after. We still need to try reposting, but we don't have any resolve. Uh... Oh boy. Oh, he looks like... He looks like us.
Not anymore, he doesn't. So another shell. Sure. How does this work? Can we switch between shells or... A man is more than just a sleeve. So Harrow's the vassal. This one. Let's see if the stats are different. Okay, so a lot more resolve, more durability, and the same stamina. So pretty much significantly better. But, I guess they're, they're going to have their own um, upgrade trees, yeah. Discovered this shell's name to awaken its power. So I'm guessing if we have the tar, uh, we can go back to that Sester Janessa and find the name from her. I had to guess. Well, this is a total dead end, too. Maybe this is supposed to be more of a uh, reward for beating this guy. But also, we're at full health now. So, let's give this guy another go here. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Excellent start. That's good. That's great. <laughs> Went a little bit ham there. Okay, we got to simmer it down. I can manage my stamina a bit better there. And when he's stuck, I could probably get a few extra hits off. Kidding. Whoa, what's this? What the hell? Like, knocked us out of the shell. Okay. Oh, the man is more than just. We got full health back? Wait, how does that work? I wonder if maybe it used that uh, effigy deal. Okay, okay. Oh, come on. His range is a little bit deceiving. Okay, 
Not good. Oh. Hey, we got to be cool. Playing it cool. Come on. We have a little pattern here, but... So when that thing glows, that's showing those unparryable strikes, which means I should probably be trying to parry this guy, but... Now we're so close to it, I'd rather practice on the little dudes. Okay, take it slow. We got this. We got this. Pissed. Hello, big boy down. <laughs> wow, okay, okay. Blimps, six of them. Wow. Mechanical spike. So that's what we need to upgrade this thing to. Excellent. That's huge. So hold on. We came in from here, right? There's these little tunnels out either side, it looks like. The tunnel that was down in the back, we found this new shell. Let's see where this goes. Look at us, man. We're st that's badass. Okay. <laughs> man, this trap is going to destroy me. Okay. Now we got other problems, though. I don't have any way of healing at all. Whoa. Okay. This is not at all where we want to be. We're going back out the normal way. We're going to talk to her about this shell. Oh, okay. So, you know what? Let's also check. So, you know how we died and we got to, like, re-enter our shell? Uh... No? Oh, but this is Effigy of Heros. So, hold on a second. So, it's specific to that one. 
The vassal's figure appears noble in his pursuits. See, I was thinking maybe it was this thing that brought us back. But I'm not sure. This is so fun for me to try and figure this stuff out. Alright, let's talk to her and see if this is the way that things go. Sip this and you'll see. Yeah, here we go. Okay, cool. Solomon the Scholar. Existence is a curious matter, the greatest triumph in the universe. Existence is a curious matter. The greatest triumph in the universe. Gifted and squandered. I shan't make the same mistakes as my brother. When the moment comes, I'll exercise restraint. Cool. So let's see what his upgrade paths are. Solomon becomes familiar with items more quickly and gains a glimpse on reading the lore for the first time. The duration of time enemies remain hardened when you are separated from Solomon is increased. Huh. Enemies remain hardened when you're separated from Solomon. Okay. When holding a sacred gland, Solomon gains 25 maximum health. When not holding a gland, Solomon gains one maximum resolve segment. Solomon has a chance to heal on using a weapon ability to slay an enemy. Killing an enemy with an empowered repost has a chance to restore all resolve. Cool. Solomon, ga Solomon gains a small amount of resolve when being struck while hardened. Regain last chance upon defeating enough foes. So maybe that's what that thing was, is like this last chance. Harden in the air to create a devastating area of impact. Put your enemies off balance with a powerful kick. When talking to an NPC, Solomon gains a segment of resolve. Huh. Now my question is, okay. So now we have a, uh, an effigy of him. I'm guessing these are to switch between shells. Because even if we're in here, we can't just equip this shell. That has to be what those are for, right? That's what I'm going to roll with. Okay, tell you what. This is probably a good place to take a break. Uh, <laughs> this is exceptional. This is really, really cool. And very Dark souls -y. I I didn't know how Dark souls -y it was going to be. But it's pretty amazing, I think. So I think the plan will be to go out, check out the rest of this area, kind of scout the different paths. And then we'll likely head through that beast area and see um, see what comes from that area where we've ran into those archers. And just explore and check things out. And I'll probably go a different way than you would go and vice versa. But man, yeah, super cool. Also notice in the bottom left by the... Uh, like hardened symbol. There's this little glowing orb. It was gone, but now that we talked to her, we're full health, and uh, that is that thing is there. Maybe that's what gives us that second chance, if I had to guess. I don't know if the game's going to tell us this or if this is just part of figuring things out, but yeah, this is really, really cool. Guys, thank you so much. If you enjoyed the video, if you could like it, that would help me out a lot. It's the first video in the series, and uh, I would love to make a lot more of these videos for you guys. If you want to see more, let me know and we'll talk to you very soon. Thanks so much. Bye for now.